The National Archaeological Museum in Spanish Museo Arqueológico Nacional is a museum in Madrid, Spain. It is located on Calle de Serrano beside the Plaza de Colón, sharing its building with the National Library of Spain. The museum was founded in 1867 by a royal decree of Isabella II as a depository for numismatic, archaeological, ethnographical, and decorative art collections of the Spanish monarchs. The establishment of the museum was predated by a previous unmaterialist proposal by the Royal Academy of History in 1830 to create a museum of antiquities. Laying of the first stone of the building destined for the National Archaeological Museum and the National Library in 1866. The museum was originally located in the Embajadores district of Madrid. In 1895, it moved to a building designed specifically to house it, a neoclassical design by architect Francisco Gerano, built from 1866 to 1892. In 1968, renovation and extension works considerably increased its area. The museum closed for renovation in 2008 and reopened in April 2014. Following a restructuring of the collection in the 1940s, its former pieces relative to the section of American ethnography were transferred to the Museum of the Americas, while other pieces from abroad were destined to the National Museum of Ethnography and to the National Museum of Decorative Arts. Its current collection is based on pieces from the Iberian Peninsula, from prehistory to early modern age. However, it also has different collections coming from outside of Spain, especially from ancient Greece, both from the Metropolitan and, above all, from Magna Graecia, and, to a lesser extent, from ancient Egypt, in addition to a small number of pieces from Near East. In the forecourt is a replica of the cave of Altamira from the 1960s. Photogrammetry was used to reproduce the famous paintings on a mold of the original cave. The replica cave is related to an exhibit at the Deutsches Museum in Munich. The halls devoted to the proto-history of the Iberian Peninsula, first floor, exhibit pieces from a number of pre-Roman peoples existing roughly along the first millennia BC, as well as from the Punic Phoenician colonization. The former includes items from the Talaiotic culture, Iberian, Celtic, and Tartsian artifacts. The collection of Iberian sculpture from southern and southeastern Iberia is particularly notable, including stone sculptures such as the iconic Lady of Elche, the Lady of Baza, the Lady of Galera, the Dama del Cerro de los Santos, the Bisha of Balazote, the Bull of Osuna, the Sphinx of Agost, one of the two Sphinxes of El Salobral or the Mausoleum of Pozo Moro. Aside from the set of Iberian sculpture, the area also hosts other items from different cultures, such as the Talaiotic Bulls of Costis, the Torque of Ribadio from the Castro culture in northwestern Iberia, or the Lady of Ibiza, associated to the Punic civilization. The collection of Hispano-Roman artifacts located in the first floor comes both from diggings at specific archaeological sites as well as from punctual purchases. The collection of Roman artifacts is completed by items from the personal collection of the Marquis of Salamanca purchased in 1874 and comprising artifacts from the Pestum and Kale sites in the Italian peninsula. The main room of the area is a courtyard, where the artifacts are placed creating a sort of forum-like arrangement. The halls corresponding to the late antiquity host pieces related to the period of time corresponding to the lower Roman Empire in the Iberian Peninsula the Diocesis Hispaniorum from 3rd to 5th centuries AD, the Visigothic Kingdom of Toledo from 6th to 8th centuries AD, the Byzantine Empire from 5th to 12th centuries AD, as well as some artifacts of other peoples from the migration period 16. Standout artifacts from this area include the sarcophagus from Astorga, the Visigothic Horde of Guarazer, including the votive crown of Rexwinth, or the fibulae from Alovera. The collections of Egypt and Nubia are made up mainly of funerary funds, amulets, mummies, steles, sculpture of divinities, ushapti ranging from prehistory to Roman and medieval times. Many of the pieces come from purchases such as the one made from the collection of the Spanish Egyptologist Eduardo Toda Wiguel and also from various excavations such as the ones carried in Egypt and Sudan as a result of the agreements with the Egyptian government for the construction of the Aswan Dam or the systematic excavations in Heracleopolis Magna. The Greek collection is made up of works from continental Greece, Ionia, Magna Graecia, and Sicily, where the collection of bronzes, terracottas, goldsmiths, sculptures and to a greater extent pottery come from, pieces that ranging from the Mycenaean to the Hellenistic period. 
In its beginnings, the collection had funds from the Royal Cabinet of Natural History and the National Library, the collection was later enriched with works brought from the expeditions of the frigate Arap Isles to the east in addition to the purchase of private funds such as those of the Marquis of Salamanca or those of Tomasha Sensi.